This morning, the Oklahoma City Police Department released uh, three crime incident reports that had been previously released, but we're re-releasing them to the media in regards to the Holtz Claw investigation. One of these uh, reports uh, did list him as a suspect, but at the time, uh, it had to be redacted until such time as an arrest took place. Uh, the other two reports did not list him as a suspect, as the victims at the time uh, did not know who he was. So these reports have been re-released. There will be uh, at least four additional crime incident reports that we will release later uh, when the investigators make those reports in reference to the other investigations involving the seven victims. Have you had any other people come forward since the announcement of this arrest claiming the same thing? To my knowledge, I don't believe anyone else has come forward, but it's still an active investigation. Uh, the victims, at least six of the victims that we've got, uh, excuse me, at least five of the victims that we've got did not initially come forward on their own and investigators had to seek them out themselves. Uh, one did come forward on their own and at least another one uh, reported but did not know who the officer was. On May 24th, an officer responded to a domestic call uh, in the downtown area and uh, during the course of that investigation, uh, a female told the responding officer that she had been assaulted, sexually assaulted by a police officer but the, the name of the officer was not known at that time uh, and we didn't have very much to work with. Uh, with the background investigation of the sex crimes investigators, uh, checking GPS logs and some other means of investigation, they were able to determine that that officer was in fact Mr. Holtzclaw. And then a couple of weeks, almost a month later, a woman came forward claiming the same and you were able to, to do the same, correct? Correct. Same thing happened on the 618. Uh, using GPS information and some other means of investigating our own officers, they were able to determine that uh, Mr. Holtzclaw was also involved in that incident. We're hoping that this does not affect our public trust, but we know it, it probably will and it can. Uh, again, uh, we would ask that the public uh, give us some patience in the investigation, which is still ongoing. That officer is off the street. Uh, if anyone has any knowledge or information into any of the other allegations, uh, that we're working on or any new allegations, we would ask that they call the police department. You can call our Crime Stoppers number at 235-7300 or if you call during the daytime, just call 297-1000. We will route you to the investigators working on this case.